Hey y'all, so I am here with another video, girl. Who am I kidding? Who am I, girl? Speak everything properly now. Um, we're gonna be doing a lot today. You ain't gonna be seeing it all, but it's gonna be coming in bits and pieces to you. I am gonna be detoxing my hair today. Now, um, I got a couple of questions when I shared a picture of what I'm gonna be using on um, you know, how do you know you need to detox? How often? I'm going to kind of go over that before we even get started, okay? So, I use a lot of products, y'all. A lot of products. Now, I don't feel like I have product buildup. That's totally different, okay? That, in that instance, I would clarify my hair, and I don't need to do that. Now, I often clarify um, once a month or once every other month. I rarely detox. Um, so this will honestly be the third or fourth time I have detoxed my entire nine years that I have been natural, okay? But I've been using a lot of different products and I've been switching them up quite frequently. Um, one of the ways I can tell is that my hair feels and looks lackluster. I know my hair, I can tell when I'm touching it and feeling it, it just doesn't feel right. I feel like I need a reset, a do over, like throw it all away girl, let's start all over, you know, do another big chop. Okay, no, we ain't doing it. We're trying to grow our hair. We ain't gonna do that. So, but you know what I mean? My hair just doesn't feel right, okay? Um, my scalp is itchy. My hair isn't holding moisture, even though I'm moisturizing the hell out of it. Um, when I'm using a product and I'm switching it up and I go back to my routine of my TGIN shampoo and my um, VO5, doesn't feel, my hair doesn't feel right after I've used my staples. You see what I'm saying? So what I've been doing is mixing this, you guys, so I do apologize. Um, I had to take a little a little pause there. So basically, I knew that my hair needed to be detoxed because it just didn't feel right. The products, um, old products just didn't feel, it wasn't responding well. And my hair should be responding well to my quote unquote staple products in my regimen, okay? So what I've been doing is I've been looking down because I've already started mixing up. I have here Aztec Secret. I know some of you guys have seen this particular jar on Amazon and other YouTubers have used this, this uh, brand. I tend to use it on my face. Um, not a lot, I'm gonna be honest, not a lot. But um, it's great for your skin, great for your hair, okay? So again, this is Betonite Clay. I don't think I've used any other clay in its raw in their raw form. I have used other products that have clays in it, but as a DIY, I've only used betonite clay. So I know there are all different type of recipes out there. Some people use just water. You're brave if you use water. That's all I gotta say. You're really brave. But I'm gonna be using apple cider vinegar diluted. Okay, you want to make sure you dilute it four to one part. So that means, or I should say, one to four parts one part uh, apple cider vinegar to four parts water, okay? And what I've been doing is slowly mixing this with plastic and in a um, ceramic bowl or a glass bowl and slowly mixing it. This is the consistency now. It has quite a bit of lumps. I want it to allow, allow it to sit here um, to get those lumps out. Probably have to add a little bit more liquid, okay? So y'all, um, like I said, detoxifying my hair. When you use mud, when you use any type of treatment that is gonna be taking something out, you gotta put something in, okay? Because what it's going to do, what basically detoxifying my hair is gonna do is remove toxins, okay? So I want to ensure that my hair is balanced. You wanna follow up with a deep conditioner, uh, preferably a moisturizing deep conditioner. So I have Eden Body Works Natural Deep Conditioner with jojoba here. I have a review on this, I believe I do. Um, now I've added some stuff to this. I'm gonna tell you what I've added. I'm not gonna sit up here in front, you can see that it, yeah. Um, there's probably half a cup of the deep conditioner, one fourth of a cup of Queen Helen cholesterol. And then I have like a squirt of two of Suave's coconut. And then um, two tablespoons of an oil mixture. And I'm gonna add to that, I'm gonna do half of this. That is probably, this is Green Beauty Channel Real Protein Treatment. This is probably going to be, I don't know y'all, maybe one tablespoon, okay? Oh, Lord, if I can open it, she unsealed on me, child. So I'm gonna add one tablespoon in again. This is after I apply the detox mud wash, okay? Um, I will be using my heat cap with that deep conditioner. 
So what I'm gonna do y'all is go jump in the shower, make sure my hair is wet before applying this mask. Now people, some people, I feel like if you let it dry, it's harder to get out. If you let it completely dry, it's gonna be harder to, to get out. I'm also, I'm not sure if I want to put a lot on my scalp. My scalp is itchy, so I may do a little bit of the apple cider water, water um, dilution on my scalp, particularly on my scalp, and then use the mud on my hair. I know people use it on their hair. Girl, I've seen photos of people have it all over their hair, all over their face, all over their chest. I think Green Beauty did that once. You can do whatever you want, okay? So all right, you guys, let me go jump in the shower, like I said, get my hair wet, and come back on cam and start applying this mud. All right, you guys, getting ready to add the um, clay mixture. Now look at how my hair is looking, yeah. So how much clay did I use? Hmm, I didn't measure, I eyeballed it. But y'all, I need, well you will need a lot of clay. You basically don't want to see any black. And with my hair, the clay was almost full. There's probably half a cup of clay left. Yeah, I had to use a lot of clay. I um, mean, honestly, I could have used more. And I'm just going to be quite frank with you. So to help me to ensure that I'm covering my hair as much as possible, I'm going over each section at least three times. Um, and yeah, we're going to continue applying this mixture. And we'll probably leave it on, like I said. I don't want it to really, really get hard and dry. Um, but I want it to do its job, if that makes sense. down this is the very first section where I applied the clay look at the curls look at that all right so just finishing up on the last section here and going to pin this up all right you guys this is what my hair looks like with the clay all rinsed out it feels really good but I want to need a deep conditioner right now girls so I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this while my hair is still wet and again we're going to I say I'm gonna leave this on 20, 30 minutes, um, the first 10 minutes heat, and then just let the heat just keep marinating it, you know what I mean? Ryan Little. <laughs> for type hair. Um, I have several DIY deep conditioners that I will be linking in the card, so make sure you check that out. And I do have um, several, at least two protein deep conditioners that I can link below. All right, you guys, so continuing to apply this DC, look, I'm gonna kill the whole jar. I think I put about two, <laughs> okay, I, I did at least two cups. Yeah, about two, two and a half cups of the deep conditioner. I like to be heavy handed when it comes to conditioners. Um, so yeah. feels amazing um, it feels clean without feeling stripped it feels very soft look at the hair look at that feels moisturized it feels like it'll be able to hold some products now <laughs> without feeling you know what I mean not like itself it feels like hair okay it feels like healthy hair so now at this point I'm going to do my normal routine of adding my leave-in conditioner um, and then sealing it in with an oil because it's wet so I like to use will use my leave-in conditioner while my hair is soaking wet clip it up to help air dry and that's it y'all let me know if you if any of you guys detox what's your res recipes girl what's your regimens put it down below I'll be curious um, and like I said I will be linking several other videos just to give you guys some more information so that is it everyone thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all my subscribers take care bye